Yo, it's your boy the Sandman, and today we're going to be talking about this update that's just come into existence. <laughs> just come into existence. Um, I'm I could record it messed up, and um, I was meant to do a part one for the story. I done fifty percent, and then my recording messed up, so that's annoying. So I'm just gonna have to start from um part two. This is say part two, and yeah that's gonna be my next video um so we got about three new uniforms actually four three that you can earn through the story um through the story for a complete story three times you only can do it once a day so i recommend you try to do it completely today try and get the first um uniform i think the first uniform is i think iron man then it goes um black widow then it goes um Captain America. The, as I can see, uh, the uniforms. Uh, I've seen gameplay of the uniforms, and they don't really look all that. Like they're all right. They they're good for the character. They're better than the base kit, of course. And uh, um, the end game. Uh, they're around about the same as the end game. They look too different from end game ones. But yeah, that's what I think. Sarah Rogers one. Um, Sean Rogers one. Uh, Sean Rogers one, yeah. This is a big update. This is a big upgrade, I should say. This is a big upgrade because it adds a friggin' uh, hill to a hill and a bind to a um, fifth skill. A hill is very important because what she was lacking was a was literally a hill. That was literally it. And probably the only thing that can make Sean Rogers better than how she is. Is in no defense. That's the only thing that can make her better than how she is. Cause she, literally, to me, Sharon's is that the perfect character. That like, the base kit, her skills, perfect, perfect character. But that's coming from someone who's um, normally that like, I just concentrate on PVE. I don't really play PVP that much, and she's Thank definitely not a PVP character. Hundred percent. Um. And let's go on to these characters, um, the Warriors of the Sky. Uh, to be honest, as I as I seen it, um, she um, Blue Dragon is the strongest. I think I'm gonna be testing them out in like t tomorrow. I'm gonna be putting up a video of her. Don't worry about it. Um, that should come out tomorrow. Um, I think she's the strongest. Her passive is amazing. No, not a passive. Her um, her leadership, um, 65% should go up. Can't even, yeah, 65% um, all attack for all the um, warriors of the sky, uh, removes debuff, all that. Um, another character that's quite strong is um, uh, Shadow Shell. Shadow Shell is quite strong. The thing is about her is it's, it's easy to get her. Um, I wouldn't recommend you tear to her because you get a six star. I wouldn't recommend you upgrade her because you get a six um six star here from the um completing academy mission. You get you can um literally get a six star. So putting bad metrics on her is alright, but I rec I wouldn't recommend you um level her up because you really get her up from um the academy mission. Um, next, I'll talk to you about the the mission missions. Yeah, the mission missions. Um, I'm not gonna like. I, I got a little bit, a little bit too happy. I got a little bit too happy. Um, I thought it was guaranteed that you can get a um, well, a paywall character or by metric from them. It's not guaranteed. Literally, I got either the worstest luck out of everything because I, um, I see it says um zero remaining. That means um I can't I can't get any more biometrics of any of these, and I literally got biometrics of all four of these unpayable characters, that are free to play characters, and I never got her at all. No biometrics for her at all. So I was just disappointed, man. I was very disappointed. 
and the reason why it says change I did not know this but you see, um you see it gives you a gold to change it yeah it, um it's a gold payment that's a gold it's like 50,000 goes up to like 100k then it goes up to um I think like 500k I think then it goes to crystal cost so I wouldn't recommend you put crystals into it um into changing it because it's not guaranteed that you can get um the paywall um uh, I mean tier 3 skill I don't think it's a tier 3 skill it's more like a I don't know what it is but it's like a special skill and um you level up using um certain materials that um you use cosmic fragments and you use a um challenge okay yeah you also use these awakening crystals these are the um awakening these new crystals um only they the only use is leveling up them skills and there's no other use so i don't understand i don't add that unless they're gonna add more types of these characters in the future may not be um made up characters but like teams special teams they may um add like different teams and then add the awakening crystals for the material so it gives me a perspective for the future but we are still lacking in game modes we're still lacking in game modes like this game feels i'm not gonna lie to you it feels um it feels kind of boring but it doesn't at the same time it's hard to explain i'm in a place where i'm getting bored of the game i'm really getting bored of the game because there's no i'm getting we're getting new characters but there's nowhere to i want to say play them or you know what i'm saying there's nothing hard about it like it's hard about this game it's shadowland yeah going higher in shadowland yeah that's one thing but that's about it it's boring shadowland is boring it's gotten so boring we need a game mode where we can use all these characters. We've got nearly over two. We got over two hundred characters, and uh, there's just no use. There's no use in this game, and yeah, that's how I feel. But anyway, um, the next video is going to be about the story mission. I'm going to carry on. For, I'm going to say part two on it. So I hope you enjoy. Um, please like and subscribe, and yeah, peace.